another OpenBSD gaming stream. to go through. Oh, the bot got kicked. So this is which blast and I'm sorry I just try to let everyone know that this is what I'll be doing. And I just wanted to give this game a little bit of a opportunity to become a little more widely known. It's a nice um, dungeon crawler um, and uh, it's open source. You can see the source code repo here. and. Um, Um, it's been a little quiet in it um, in the last couple of years. One thing that I find is sorely missing is gamepad support. It uses SDO2 if I recall correctly, um, but um, and that would be able to it would be possible to add gamepad support, but nobody has bothered yet. So if someone likes this game and wants to, you know, help out this and knows how to do. Um, SDL gamepad um, setup, then this would be a good one to take a look at. So, just checking that the stream here is okay and it looks okay. And so, I'm gonna just go ahead and play it. Um, I don't, it's been a long time since I last played it, so. Um, it is very inspired by the Binding of Isaac. I'm not going to restore the game, and we'll just take a quick look. Mm. Oh, yeah, this is how I used to do it. Uh, okay, I'm going to pick your keys. Ah, well, I messed it up. <laughs> Let's see if it's totally messed up now. It's messed up now. Well, that was unexpected. Um, I'll just fix this. Um, I 
I'll just delete the whole directory and then we'll start fresh. All right. This time it's going to work, I promise. Let me take a look here. So the shoes in the facing direction. I, but I did used to set it up a little differently. Okay. Oh. Tap fire sector. Cast the spell. Time control. Okay. HFR, of course. So. The quest begins. Witches have abducted the Archmage's daughter and brought her into her lair. By the way, this was the first port that I ever submitted to OpenBSD, this game. Yeah, this is the... I can't do anything with the time. And there's some tutorial messages popping up. Here you find some pennies. I'm very weak now. But I will find some equipment over time. And scores to spend the money. Yeah. Oh, here's something. Amulet of Vengeance retaliates. Here you can see the mm. Okay, I mean it's a passive one. I'm not sure if I'm Putting everything right here. I'm not sure the counter on the upper right is probably a score. If it is, then I don't have a whole lot at this point. This is the retaliate thing. Okay. Okay, and I guess I can... Okay, drink for identified and all the effects, but now I'm confused. I'm not sure what that means, because I can still control as usual. The music... But something, huh? And the animation. Oh, this is why I'm confused. I'm probably gonna lose against this guy. Because it's reverse. Oh no, it's not anyone. Whenever I hit him, he. Starbuck, hey cat. Cat Starbuck. He's interested in what I'm doing here. Oh, 
There's an apple. I'm gonna put that apple. Let's see. Okay. understand the whole thing there but yeah I guess they're they have some inspirations from rogue and attack and the like That's a surprisingly tough. Alright, we got the key. Lost the key. And so weakness potion increases damage and then I'm gonna have to just drop this one because this is useless for us. What's here to the right? Secret one found. Alright. Anything in these skulls. I've never seen these skulls here before. Money. Yeah, more money. Yeah. I think I'm gonna buy that cheese to replenish some more health. Yeah, 
you have a low firing rate, but it can get faster later on um, with um, some items, and it's all randomized, so I don't know. Oh, I have an ice attack now, so. Here, I can search for tap. Here, I have ice now. I think it regenerates slightly slower than the other attack. death certificate, which can be saved as a ping file, which I'm not going to do. Okay, alright, start a new game. Different dungeon layout this time, and we're starting with the same equipment again. I always have to exterminate reds or bats in these rogue games. Yeah, good question. I use WASD for movement and the uh, um, cursor keys for firing. It would be nice to have this work with um, the gamepad. It feels like a gamepad kind of game. Here, here, dual bolts. Not bad, huh? Should make it easier to hit things. I do not need any health things. I do not have enough money for this. It'd be nice to get though. Maybe I can get go here after I fight the boss. Yeah, it's a nice little game. It's very entertaining for short play session sessions. Now with the double thing. That's just very convenient. Not 
have enough money for anything. But I can move past from tough guy. It's just slightly faster. If you hold it, it's gonna um, do its thing. I'm gonna throw the volume a little. I like the use of lightning too. I got increased damage you now. I haven't really played the binding of Isaac as much and I'm not sure how close it is in terms of gameplay. I know the aesthetics are very different. I have a feeling the shop and these things might be a little um Save up the money and then see if I'll have enough money for that item. Because what I need is power ups more than anything. I like that the equipment is invisible.
there one left? Oh, okay, I got this one. I got a hard increase max HP. Here and check this out. I got a bunch of money, and now I can actually afford that thing in the store before I head down another level. I think I've only made it to level 3 so far, and I don't really know how many levels there are. Let's see how far I get this time. It gets progressively harder, and the dungeons get progressively bigger. PMW market. I don't know what PMW stands for. Increase fire rate. <laughs> Okay, fire rate now is 1.2 per second. Ace damage is 12. I guess space is what I can do to get out of problems. It's okay, Starbuck. My cat just wanted to make sure that I'm okay. I told her that I, I should be fine. I'm not sure what the difference is. Oh, this one here is a faceplate, so you can't attack it from the front. The monsters get a little harder. <laughs> Healing potion. That might come in handy. Let's yes, see, I cannot detect this thing from the front. Ostrom has increased my speed. Difficulty is pretty nice, it's uh, a challenge, but it's fun to play. A fairy. What is this? Helps you in the dungeon. Oh, if you accompany a hobble and other allies in the dungeon. I don't remember what the fairy does. You will find out. Okay, 25 is what I would need. Oh, she f fires at the same time. Just calling her she because I can. I think I failed at the uh, boss of this level the last time I tried it. There's something in this room here. Oh, it's two of them. Okay, let's just try to keep it. Under control. Okay. 
can always use the teleport spell, I guess. Alright, another tire. Try to avoid standing too close to the I... hit them. Okay, one of these dudes left. This one's gonna speed up eventually. Alright, speed it. Apples. Plenty, and I have almost. Has to summon a magic shield. All right. Okay. This is the spell now, I guess. I can't switch spells, I guess. I don't think so. For basic staff. Okay. All right. Here's an interview with us. Okay, alright. There was something in the store, right, that I was interested in. I think it cost 30 at this when I checked, and I should keep better track of those. Go to the store. Yeah, I think I should get the cheese at least. The music is weirdly overlapping now. Alright, not so bad. 
Let's see if we can defeat the enemy. If I'm not mistaken, it's a big rat. I feel like I remember something like this. So we had butcher, slime, and I think this one is a rat. If I'm not mistaken. I think this is the one that I lost again. Lost against. No! I've been here before, so I've made it this far previously. Difficulty has spiked quite a bit. I could use the healing dude. I'm not gonna donate anything though, because I need the money for other stuff. <laughs> This is what I forgot, I guess.
healing potion. So I can use that for sure. Death certificate, and this is, um, yeah, this is Witch Blast. It is in ports, it's free, it's open source, you can just install it with package at Witch Blast. It's a fun little game. Alright, thanks for watching.